When working on leash training, it can be tough to juggle carrying everything you need and keeping your dog from getting tangled in their leash, all while trying to click and reward them at the right times to teach them their leash skills. Luckily, I'm here to help you out. The supplies you'll need are a cute dog, of course, a leash, preferably about six feet long, a collar or harness, a harness is recommended and I'll put some suggestions in the description box below, a clicker if desired, and a treat bag and treats. So today Tramp will be playing the part of cute dog, which he does very well. I'm going to attach that six foot leash to the back of his harness. And then you can see the way I hold the leash is I put my entire hand through the loop of that handle at the end. So it's around my wrist. And then I clamp my hand around it with my thumb on one side and the rest of my fingers wrapped around the other. And this is a very secure way of holding your leash so that your dog can't slip out of your hand. And then with this little bit of excess leash, because Tramp is standing close enough to me, I am going to just fold that leash over there at the end. So we kind of have this loop going that I just hold with my fingers. It's not wrapped around my hand. I could easily let go of this extra loop if I wanted to give him some more space. But by holding it this way, he's not getting his legs tangled in the leash. Next is the clicker, which I hold in that same hand that I have the leash in. So I'll just put it right against the leash and have my thumb against the button of the clicker so that I can easily click it. And what that does is leaves my right hand free to fill full of treats so I can very easily rapidly reward Tramp for walking next to me if we were in the early stages of training and I needed to reward him a lot. I don't have to worry about running out and constantly going back and forth between my bag. I just have a whole nice handful. And here's where you can see it all come together. My left hand is holding the leash and the clicker. Tramp is on my right and that is also the hand that holds all the treats. So I can click with my left hand and then hand him a treat out of my right hand. And I do have a bunch of treats in my right hand, but of course I'm only giving him one at a time. Sometimes I hand him to him, sometimes I toss him on the ground just to mix things up in his life. So you can see that leash hangs down really nice and loosely, but because I have that extra little folded loop there at the top, it's not hanging so loosely that he's getting his legs tangled in it or it's getting tangled around his neck or anything. And he just did a beautiful job here demonstrating for us. Now let me show you how I attach the leash to a front hook harness. So you see I'm going to attach it to that ring on the front of his chest here. And then what I like to do, if you have a martingale collar as well, I like to double hook it to that. Just kind of as, as an added safety feature. If for some reason your dog were to get out of their harness, you'd have them attach to their collar and vice versa. So it's just a nice little extra safety feature. I like to do a little extra step here too. If your harness happens to have a little loop or a handle on the back, what you can do is run the end of your leash through that. And that way you can see it kind of pulls it up a little bit. It's not actually attached anywhere on the back, but it helps hold your leash up so that again, it doesn't get tangled in your dog's legs, which does tend to happen with those front hook harnesses sometimes. And then I'm just going to hold my leash, my clicker, and my treats the exact same way I showed you a moment ago. And of course, as you can see, I have that extra little bit of leash folded over my hand so the excess isn't getting tangled under his legs. But if I wanted to go let him sniff something at the end of that six foot leash, all I have to do is drop that extra little loop. But then of course I hang on to the leash that is wrapped around my wrist and held in my hand. So I still have my dog very securely on their leash. He just gets to go sniff around at the end of his six foot leash and, you know, be a dog and have fun. And here is something you want to be sure and not do, which is wrapping the leash over and over around your hand. There's a couple reasons I don't want you to do this. One is that you don't want to hold your dog too close to you. You do want to make sure that they have some loose slack leash hanging down so that they're learning good manners and you don't want to hold them too tight. 
And if they did want to explore a little bit more at the end of their leash, then you have to sit there and try to unravel it from your hand and it just kind of takes forever and it's really unwieldy. Um, another reason is a safety factor, which is if you have that leash wrapped around your hand and your big strong dog suddenly lunges because a squirrel run across their face or something, um, people have broken pinkies, broken fingers before having their leash wrapped like this. So it's really just not a good idea all around, although it is very tempting for people to do. So try to avoid doing this and just hold that extra one folded over loop in your hand and it'll work out so much better. Bonus tip, how to hold a long leash so that it doesn't tangle around everything. I'm going to use a 15 foot leash in this demonstration. I learned this technique from an awesome trainer named Grisha Stewart. Her info will be linked in the description box below so that you can go check her out. So here we have the 15 foot long leash and I am going to put that handle around my wrist just like I showed you with the regular leash. And then as far as holding up the excess leash, you're just gonna do those little folds again. But instead of just doing one, you're going to do as many as you need to to keep that leash off the ground. But you're gonna go back and forth. So you're never getting this round your hand loop thing going on. You're just having these folds on the right and the left. And again, you're just gonna do as many as you need to keep that leash off the ground. So you'll be adjusting that as your dog roams around. See, the leash never loops around on itself. Then I'm going to attach that to the back of Tramp's harness because you always want to put a long leash on the back. And then when I want to give my dog that extra leash, all I have to do is drop those folded over parts and then I hold the excess leash up in my right hand just so it's not dragging on the ground. And then I can use my right hand to start folding up more of the leash as Tramp comes back closer to me. So you can see I'm making a couple more folds as he makes his way back. So on my left hand, the leash never comes off of my wrist. I simply let those folds drop as needed and then redo them as he gets closer. And here's one more little demo in real time so you can see the full effect. I didn't let every single fold drop that time because he didn't go as far. And then you'll see when he comes back to me in a second, I just start refolding those loops in my left hand as he gets closer just to make my life a little easier and a little less tangled.